Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Sunless Skies. It's Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today uh, here in uh, Carillon. And uh, we're leaving because we have things to do. So we need to go from here. Uh, well, if. Ooh, why? Why don't give me fuel efficiency? Thank you. Thank you very much for not giving me fuel efficiency. Um, I don't know where they came from. So we need to go. We have a mission in. Um, well, definitely not this one. In Port Prosper? Definitely in Port Prosper. Right now, we're to the east. Not too far to the east, but I need to go over there, and then I need to go to Magdalene's, and then eventually to Port Prosper. But that's, that's what I meant. I have something here in Port Avon, and I don't know... Let me look it up. My hold over here. Uh, no, no, no. Perhaps not. What is it? This is... Munitions in the Lustrum Mines. I don't have many of those. This is a uh, Verdant Seeds 5 sacks in Titania. We haven't been there. We absolutely have to go there, but not right now. Uh, and uh, we have Port Avon. The Oh, that's right. We need that little weird thing. Let's leave because we're going southwest. Southwest? We're going southwest. And uh, we're probably going to fight some things on the way there. I have a lot of... A lot of um, what are these called? Supplies. That's what they're called. So I might send my bat out. Uh, I also have the mining thing, so that's going to be a good thing as well. But let's get a little bit away from uh, from that place so that we can use our bat to the best of our abilities. Because I think that is... That is the intended... Oh! Eh. The intended gameplay loop. Let's see, your scout has discovered something out in the sky. That sounds interesting. Please don't crash against me. Thank you. Man, those guys. <laughs> Quite a noisy place over here. No, it's it's the the Whale of Drawback. I believe what is the name of that. Don't you outrace me! What do you think you're doing? Oh, we got one of those. That's actually really good. Okay, I wonder if they were going that way. You know, to try and get that. Send the bat out again. There's no mining opportunities here. Speaking of mining, our crew is only five, precisely because... Oh, there's nothing. Okay. Precisely because we... Let's go that way. Left half of it back in uh, in the place that mines. So that was a little bit of a close call. It's all good. Uh, also, somebody told me in the comments, and thank you very much for that, that... Um, the minimum minimum required crew is shown over here, uh, or should be shown over here, but I'm not really sure. When you fail, your crew members die. That is... Wait, what? Another one lost. When you fail your crew, crew members die. Hmm. That's... The amount of crew members I lost, not the minimum required crew. Oh, don't crash against things. Okay. Yeah. Mm, I'm not, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Well, uh, how much crew we need? I'm not gonna go below eight or below five, rather. And I do want a better ship soon. And we got these guys. Speaking of better ship, let's do that. That's a charge. And that is... Nice. They go down pretty fast. And let's see what we can get out of here. We should be... Bad. <laughs> Unfortunately. Let's... Oh, yeah, we get, like, a, a, a Sky Story. And, uh, yeah, one Sky Story. I have nine of them. Also getting the experience, which is really good. The Kantankeri grumbles at length, in no apparent discomfort until its abrupt final silence. I heard, says the solemn, solemn junior signaler, that when their world was dying, they didn't fix it or try to leave. They just borrowed into its crust and crept and slept until the end. It crumbled around them and they woke amongst its fragments. That's very sad. Why are you shining at me? Oh, it's a homestead. Why didn't I realize this? Uh, let's see. Settlers who live so far beyond the edge of civilization relish the hardship of, uh, hardships of solitude. And we have been here before. And I can share... I have a bunch of these. 
This will reduce terror if you're starving by you some time. And if you're starving by you some time. Although, yeah, let's share gossip from civilization. New customs spring up quickly in the high wilderness. One of the most widely observed insists... Insists? Widely observed? Insists that a good story must be repaid with gifts. And we give a story and gain a supply. That's that's good. That's good. It's pretty good. Your host is desperate to hear news from New Winchester and London. The scandals, the fashions, the feuds. They listen intently, like an avaricious relative at the reading of a will. When you leave, you discover a generous bundle left on the footplate of your engine. That's very nice. Please don't crash. Thank you. Let's get out of here. Uh, that looks like a passage, but I'm pretty sure it isn't. Although it looks like a passage. But we're not gonna go there. It really does look like a passage. I can look at it when, when I come back up north. Don't remember if we have any uh, pirates this way. I'm glad to see that three shots sends, uh, send the whales down. Let's send this one out as well. Now that we got a little gift for a Salem stewed gossip. Oh, game is loading. There's something over there. Let's go. I mean, we're close enough that uh, it doesn't matter too much. And if it's a mining thing, then it's a good thing, because I'll take it. And otherwise, I won't, because I really don't have any other equipment. Could be a city as well, for all I know. Oh, it's loot. Good news. Good news. Although we might be attacked immediately. It's fuel. Send the little guy out. Nothing. That's a shame. Hmm. Although we're going the same way we came. The Bonnie Shepherds. Shepherds, right? Yeah. Shepherds? Mm, I think it's shepherds because it's like the herders of the sheep and they're not the herders of the sheep or something So let's see so we want to go to New Winchester. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna go down to Port Avon um, Even though we do have the mission to it. I kind of want mostly the uh, The opportunity we might get a good opportunity in New Winchester not a, a bargain. That's the word Opportunity we have in New Haven, but if we get an, a bargain, then that's a good thing. I don't remember precisely if uh, if we get bargains in New Winchester. Let's see what we get over here. Yeah, I suppose that's not bad. Twenty bucks, twenty gold, twenty sovereigns. Your crew, un undermanned and uh, overworked, are struggling. One of them has failed to thoroughly secure your cargo. When a boisterous wind rocks your engine, the straps snap, sending boxes and barrels careening perilously about the hold. And I'm going to abandon the hold, but that's a bit of a problem. Let's uh, order the crew to secure the cargo, and I'm probably going to lose... Yeah, I lost them. Um, your work... You work with your crew, flinging nets over the contents of the hold and lashing everything together. But another lurch from your engine makes a stack of crates lean, then topple. Some of your crew are trapped beneath it. Well, that's a bit of a problem. We're That was sort of sad that uh, we got that so close to New Winchester. So we're going to get more crew in New Winchester. We can pay for it. Uh, probably we'll go for seven. And always leave some people working back in the fields. I just want to see what happens when we have five people working. I don't remember exactly how long it's going to take for us to go there. I thought it was like by September, early September. Because we, we've been out at sea for... Not at sea. At sky. Out at sky for a little while. Is it, I suppose that's a fair way of saying it. Out at sky? It has to be. We speak on the trails cross the sky. And we are arriving at New Winchester. Okay. Now, repair the locomotive. Uh, it doesn't need to be repaired. Then, uh, let's go immediately to the bazaar. Uh, and we have... Uh, these are prospects. Carolyn Connection. Nectar for Magdalens. Wait. Oh, right. I need to um, go into the bank and see what I have over here. So we're good. 
with that and with these and we're mostly just collecting things that's fine that's fine uh, I don't think we'll get how do I do this Abra mm. yeah that's gonna take a little while so I could sell these and they would make for good money uh, let's go to the bazaar again because the thing is this nectar and I have that nectar how much Magdalene's house of small comforts require up to three gourds of choriced nectar. So I'll take that. Oh. Uh, and uh, this one. I can't. It's Titania. I need to abandon that one. Five barrels of unseasoned hours to carry on. Wait, I didn't have that already? I mean, that's fine with me. Uh, do we throw away titania? I don't want to throw away titania. Munitions for the lustrum mines. Yeah, this one is probably going to be a lot harder. I'll do that, though. Okay, so this is what we're going to ho hold on to in terms of uh, our things we're going to see. So we're going to need you up to four, which is a bit of a problem. And where does that need to be delivered? Port Avon. So I can keep it back here. That is fine. Uh, that is not. This is... Fine, so I'll keep it right here. That's how how you deal with that. Uh, as for these ones, this needs to go. I just yeah, Port Haven. So that's staying here, and everything else is basically staying where it is. Um, let's go over here to the Wolvesy Wolvesy Station. Hire some crew, uh, three to four crew. That sounds about right. How much do I pay? Only thirty. Yeah, that's very little. So we're a little bit better. I only hired three. Well. Hopefully everything is going to be fine with that. Um, so I can explore the city. I don't think I have anything here. Uh, oh, right. The incautious driver wanted to come here to their family doctor. A silver plaque on the door bearing only a name indicates this as the address of New Winchester's most exclusive practice. While the doctor conducts her examination, the driver asks you to update their old records while their current with their current employment you take a moment's pre pleasure in the driver's ridiculous middle name and pass over the field on gender straightforwardly crossed out their address was last an uh, was last an eye-raisingly prestigious new winchester townhouse you amend it to the name of your locomotive Ah, the doctor says, peering into the driver's ears. A case of verdancy, a fungal colonization of the brain, and not uncommon in the reach. You've noticed uncharacteristic impulses, changes in behavior? She eyes the driver's sky suit and scars. The driver nods. Yes, the spores root deeply in the brain. Attempts to extract them have had less than sat satisfactory results. I'm afraid the best prescription is to entertain them. Take them where they want to go. See the things they want to see. Typically, a little travel does the job. They'll soon lose interest. Well, that sounds... That sounds like a lovely infection of this of the brain, or it's not an infection actually. That's a fungus. It's a fun well, it's a fungal infection still. The smoggy clanking. Oh, it's yeah. We're back over here. So I wonder if I need to talk to her right now. Them. Um, let's see. Incautious driver. Driver converse. Yes, let's do that. The incautious driver paces back and forth, clicking their tongue. It must have been the crash. They say in the nature reserve my father sent me there to take up a nice quiet job i always did love botany but when they pulled me from the wreckage i had new dreams to follow i thought they were mine now how can i be sure a new resolve washes over their face when they turn back eyes sharp and sparkling with a flicker of emerald either way they say i know where i have to go old tom's well give me the wheel captain i have an appointment to keep the well lies to the west-southwest of New Winchester. Okay, so wait a minute, but that's capital W. Old Tom's Well. Hmm. West-southwest. That's more or less towards the Magdalene's, so I think I'll be okay. Maybe. I can converse with them a little bit more. No, it's the same conversation as far as I can tell. Must have been the crash. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's good. I can close that. No! Really? Okay, so press G to explore. Yeah, I thought it was a different window, but yeah, it's fine. Inquire about it, the war. Yeah, there's nothing else to do over here. Okay, well, 
let's look at our journal, though. So we have an ambition, we have the captain's legacy, and uh, he's... I need to talk to the devil, that's gonna take a little while. Assumed identity, absolutely have to go to Magdalene's, that is the reason why we're going to Magdalene's. Let's keep it open. Um, then we need to go to Pars Port Prosper, eventually we can keep it open as well. Um, this is not gonna be a problem. Uh, Port Prosper, another reason to go to Port Prosper. And another reason to go to Port, Port Prosper, right there. Uh, you have learned what happens at Carillon. The Devilus would like you to find a devil in the Gaslight Terrace. Yeah, that's those are the side quests for the people all in, in those places. Switching, unless I'm missing something here. Oh yeah, this that's deprivation and things. Switching, uh, switching's ven vengeance. Hunt Windward engines in the Reach and retrieve their, yeah. Uh, get to Perdu Perdurance to find Wilma Cinder's old flame. I don't know where Perdurance is. I think it's a c I'm pretty sure it's a city, but I don't remember if they t they told me where it is. So I have the mining crew there. Yeah, let them be f there for a little while. And that's the mining crew. Uh, learning about the incognito princess Perdurance. Yeah, I need to figure out where Perdurance is. And then we have... Uh, shift of perspectives to be able to do that and I think we're good okay so let's look at our map over here if we can and see if we have perdurance because I don't believe we do I have seen it in gameplay okay so we're going immediately west to Magdalene we might eh, we're gonna be good on, on in regards to this I was gonna say we might want to buy uh, some some um, Provisions, and then I immediately proceeded to, uh, to click all the wrong keys and uh, not buy provisions at all. So that was great. Also, this is not the way. This is the way. As for the uh, the engines that I need to put the nameplates for the for the engines that I need to hunt, I wonder if those are the pirates. I don't know. The pi you know the ones that we hunt down sometimes. Hmm. The stovepipes have very specific engines, very dangerous engines as well. So that's 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 another, remember how I was saying that I didn't know how they had balanced the uh, the difficulty of joining the stovepipes or joining with the tackities. Uh Well, if you join with the tackities, the stovepipes are really mean and really nasty. They will hit you with their well, not necessarily really powerful, but uh, yeah, this, these are the ones that I was. Wondering. Okay. Okay, that's pretty bad. Yeah, you're not gonna do much with that. Woo. Wah! Okay, this is dangerous. Yeah, I didn't wanna fire because I didn't know how long it would take for them to die let's loot the hold uh, we have jewelry over here which gives us uh, asylum steward gossip it's just papers always papers did we ever go over there I don't think we did I mean we haven't but oh we have another one of these houses that's good I have just what I need search the abandoned it's abandoned you sat down beside a cold, silent homestead. The windows are boarded, the door locked, but the foliage in the garden hasn't grown wild. It was abandoned in a hurry and recently. Okay, this is going to require a 60% chance failure right there, which means my terror goes up. I did get a little bit of money. The homestead has already been pillaged. However, a an odious smell leads you to a loose floorboard that we have heard of before already. Don't crash. Let's just go this way. Whee! Off we go. Um, and uh, continue to Magdalene, of course. I was just wondering, though, because I'm pretty sure I, s I might have not seen that. I remember seeing the the floorboard thing, but I wonder if it's like you can come back every once in a while. Because if that's the case, we could farm those things relatively easy. It's just, you know, kind of pays for the for the journey. F 50 sovereigns is about, about as much as, you know, half a fuel and one supply. It's about as much as I as I use up for for this journey. 
over here. So that's why I'm more or less okay with, um, with not a having bought anything. Please don't crash against it. That's good. Also, let's not mess with the winds too much. They don't seem to be reaching me right now. I say that as they reach me immediately. Okay. Oh, that doesn't matter. Okay, this is good. I hope it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. Okay, we're arriving at Magdalene. The land where they keep shooting things over there. And there yeah, I think I can hear them. Oh, no, no, it's just the clocks. These things make noise. Okay. So, let's look at our journal, just to make sure I know what's going on. There's the assumed identity here of uh, the illustrious... Or, not the illustrious, the amenable host. And uh, that's basically the mo vast majority of the... Re oh, Vast majority of the reasons, that's words. Uh, oh, that's good. Oh, no, 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 this is... Oh, that's not good. Well, these are bargains, I could get that. Hmm. So, unfortunately, I need another one. This is good money, so it always... It pays to do that. Uh, these, these are pretty expensive. And a bargain in bronze wood... I think it's worth buying. I don't know. I don't know. Let's not buy it right now. Let's let's see what we have over here in the shop. We have yeah. I probably want another one of these. So if I buy these three, I think I'll have space. I'll buy them. Uh, yeah, I'll have space for for something more. I'll be okay with this. Uh, right there, so that's the things, and we need another one of those, which is going to be quite difficult to find, because I have no idea where to get them, at least I don't think I do. Uh, the skies are full of terrible wonders, the solid chambers treat your terror, but that costs money. Eh, I, don't, I think we're good for right now. The oniric chambers treat your nightmares. Now that... That is important. For some cases of sleepless nights lost in formless terror, of persistent night terrors and elusive dreams, more severe treatments are required. And for that... What? Huh. Let's see. Uh, in those somber chambers of red and gold painted glass, the worst failings of the heart are treated. An attendant awaits to take your details and your payment. He asks only that you request the name of the person you wish to treat. And I can treat... Wait, what? Here you can reduce your nightmares before they get worse. The more you use these treatments, the more expensive they will become. The attendants, uh, attendants can only do so much. Okay, I can figure I figure that. But, uh, and I have this quieting. My mother. What exactly does this mean? Is it the nightmare that I'm having is my mother? She's present for a given value of the term. Let's go with that. The kettle is on, filling the room with steam. Have you seen this room before? Her face is behind a veil, but the voice is right. Yeah, just to, re to remi remind you, these are... That's not really my mother. Um, these the people here treat uh, people by acting. Uh, method acting, as far as I can tell as well. Anyway, I've seen this room before. Her face is behind a veil, but the voice is right, as perfect as you've heard in dreams. I've seen everyone away, so we can... I've sent everyone away, so we can talk properly. You still take sugar, yes? I... Uh, so I, I lost the nightmare? I suppose I did. It just didn't disappear there. Maybe it disappears when I leave. I don't know. Um, so we have the keepsake market. Let's go there. Uh, we can purchase an old journal. How long? How much is that? An illicit stall has been set up near the port where the doctors and nurses of Magdalene sell off the property of captains in their care who require extensive, <laughs> extensive stays. The practice is not encouraged, but the amenable host usually turns a blind eye. Now, we didn't have this deal before, or did we? I can while away to reduce the terror. I remember this one for sure. Let's uh, purchase an old journal. The diary of another Skyfarer full of dark secrets of a sinful life. 
that is, I think, worth a lot. I got a savage secret out of that. The nurses hand, o hand over your new purchase, warning you not to tell anyone where you found it. They add that uh, there will likely be more offers like this very soon. That sounds good to me. Let's go... Uh, yeah, that was a one-time thing. Let's go to Magdalene's House of Small Comfort. <laughs> I love the name. <laughs> uh, and I can write a port report, which I do need. Uh, and then we have this, um, this thing that we have read already. So I can observe the guests just to make sure there's nobody going around that I didn't know about before. Deliver the previously impounded goods. I have the goods. Or do I? Doesn't look like I do. Uh, let's return to Amitable Host. He's currently available, which is great. And uh, let's see what happens. And, hmm, everything is good. Conversation. What will you tell the amenable host? You have pursued his memories enough to have an answer for him. Let's do this. The amenable host closes his hands around his returned locket. Now it comes to it, he says. I'm not sure I want to know, but I've sent you out. He drums his fingers against his cup. We don't spare our guests the truth, so why should I be any different? He fills the goblet for you both. Well, out with it. Uh, so I would say... Confirm his identity on Lustrum. Perhaps this is who he ought to be. He was shot dead on the mountain and survived. He found some fragments in New Winchester that might form a history. A strike-breaking factory owner now reformed. And uh, on Pros uh, Port Prosper he found little evidence, but perhaps enough. He continued the work of the Parlor of Virtue and, uh, on Port Prosper. And I can tell two truths here. You have found nothing conclusive. Which would he prefer to have been? He might not have been any of them. Interesting. Let's go with this one. Tell the truth. You have found nothing conclusive. Which would he prefer to have been? He gazes at you for a long, solemn minute. Abruptly, he stands and removes two polished glasses and a filler decanter... A filled decanter from a box in the wall. He places one glass before you and fills it deep. I suppose I should commend your nerve in giving me that answer, he says. He fills his own glass and finishes it one swift swig. In one swift swig. My own self, cindered ash in the kiln of my ambition, he gives you a crooked smile. So goes the teaching of Magdalene's. He, do he goes to a drawer and takes out a sealed envelope. For all your trouble, I am who I have chosen to be. I have that, at least. 500 sovereigns. That is very nice. You have told the amiable host that all of the memories he has are his. Aha. Uh -huh. That mission left me a little bit confused, though, because I, I really thought that uh, the information we got from Lestrum was conclusive. But apparently it wasn't. Uh, so that's that. Well, we could go back to the amiable host, because I don't know if he's going to give me any, any new... new uh, New missions. I was looking at the second option there. The amenable host has an attendant open a fresh bottle of sparkling wine for you both. He tells you of movements in the new in the Winchester War, of old longings quelled, of old enmities reignited, of the arrest of the passage of time. The human heart memory to the human heart, he says, memory is stronger than all her majesty's hours. The amenable host reclines on a couch of crushed velvet, a goblet of sparkling wine in his long fingers. Somewhere in the tower above him, the great clock ticks away. As a policy, the host's atrium is uh, always open to guests. He's available to hear opinions, friendly criticism, and suggestions. Today, he has a headache, and that's uh, we've heard of that before. Let's go. Let's go for a conversation. His schedule, sorry, schedule is busy, but he's willing to clear a little time for you. He speaks of the politics of the reach, the tedium of it, and his affront that his position requires him to pay any attention at all to it. He speaks of the parties he has hosted, the lives he's healed, and the, peoples he's sa the people he's saved. You begin to suspect he might have an ego. And then your time is up. I hope I haven't bored you, he says with a rare smile. One wishes to be many things in life, but never dull. Well, that's quite true. That is quite true. And with that in mind, that's going to be the end of this episode because we're out of time for the day. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Sunless, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode.
Bye-bye.